for night prayer on Friday the 31st of July. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. As we draw near to the end of this day, we pause and just reflect upon the moments when we have let ourselves one another and God down by our thoughts and words and deeds. We pray together, most, most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen.
69. Hide not, not your, your face from, from your servant, O Lord. Lord. Those who hate me without any cause are more than the hairs of my head. Those who would destroy me are mighty. My enemies accuse me falsely. Must I now give back what I never stole? O God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let those, let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. For your sake have I suffered reproach. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Hide not your face from your servant, O Lord. Thirsting on the cross, your Son shared the reproach of the oppressed and carried the sins of all. In him, O God, may the despairing find you, the afflicted gain life, and the whole creation know its true King, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading this evening is from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Jesus told the crowds all these things in parables. Without a parable, he told them nothing. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth to speak in parables. I will proclaim what has been hidden from the foundation of the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O, o Lord, Lord, while waking, waking and, and guard us while sleeping, sleeping that, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep, asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.